You know, as movie fans, whenever we have a movie come out that we personally are really excited about and we really enjoy, we always want to jump the gun. We all do it and ask the question, could this movie that I love be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards? And that just so happens to be the topic of today's Mint Mobile hotline question of the day. Listen, if you guys have a question you'd like to hear us address it on the channel, call our hotline number anytime, 24-7 at 951 268 Four two five nine, and once again, the topic today is about Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and its Oscars chances. Check it out. Hey, John and crew. My name is Cohen. With the massive success that Across the Spider-Verse has had critically with audiences and critics, what do you think the chances are that it gets nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars? Thanks, and bring on the filthy. All right, thanks a lot for calling that in. And yeah, listen, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse this little animated film that could, has really taken the movie world by storm. Not only has it just like absolutely shattered box office expectations, making $120.5 million on its opening weekend, which makes it the second biggest box office opening of the year, only behind Mario Brothers. By the way, that means the two biggest openings of the year are both animated films. Take that, Bob Chapek. So, but it's also become a huge hit with both the audience and the critics. As a matter of fact, look at this. Like the critic rating for this thing is 95%, which is only one percentage point off from what the audience score is. And the audiences have given this film a 96%. This thing is bonafide across the board, but I'm also hearing things personally. Like I did an open spoiler discussion the other day for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And so many people writing in saying things like, I think this is my favorite comic book movie of all time. And even a number of them writing in to say, this is now my all-time favorite movie, period. Now, I'm not saying I necessarily think it's the greatest film of all time, but the fact of the matter is that the audiences are responding overwhelmingly positive to this movie, and so are the critics, and so is the box office. So the question becomes, can this film, this animated film, a comic book animated film, be nominated for Best Picture at the Academy Awards? Well, we have to first address the elephant in the room. The Academy Awards don't like to nominate animated films. As a matter of fact, in the history of the Oscars and in the history of the animated medium, only three times has the Oscars had the balls to actually nominate an animated film, despite the fact that many, many years, the number one critically rated films of the year were animated films, but only three times has an animated film been actually given that honor of a Best Picture nomination? Those three films are, you had to go all the way back to 1997 was the first one. That was Beauty and the Beast. Then I believe it was 2009, the Pixar film Up. And then I think it was 2010 for Toy Story 3. The third film that so many fans, when they announced it, said, you're just going to ruin Toy Story if you make a third one. You don't need a third one. Anyway, they made a third one, and it got nominated for Best Picture and also became a billion-dollar thrill. Beauty and the Beast, Up. And Toy Story 3, that's it. None others. As a matter of fact, the Oscars even then created a category so they wouldn't have to deal with the problem when they created the category of Best Animated Feature. But we all know that the only reason they did that was because they didn't want to answer questions anymore about why the hell aren't you nominated animated films. But listen, every once in a while, a movie can come along that is just too big to ignore. And I don't just mean big in terms of box office. I mean big in its response from the audience, from the critics, from the box office, and it's just making a pop cultural impact. We saw something like that happen with Top Gun Maverick last year. Like a lot of people thought when Top Gun Maverick came out that it was great, but it's not the kind of movie that gets a Best Picture nomination. Well, guess what? It became too big to ignore. Big in terms of how the critics felt about it, big in, how, in terms of how the audience felt about it, and big in terms of how well did the box office, because it was one of the biggest films of all time. And so they couldn't ignore it. Will the same happen this year? Who knows what the Oscars will do? They have over 7,000 voting members, and, and, and who knows? But I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. I do believe this is a movie that is too big for them to ignore. And they're not going to be able to just shuffle this one off to the best animated category. A category which the first film, Into the Spider-Verse, did win best animated feature at the Oscars last year. But this year, they can't get around it. This is a movie that will need to be nominated for best picture. Now, you might say, but John, we're only about halfway through the year. There's still a lot of big movies to come out. I, I've gone on record and I'll say it again. If 10 
more movies come out this year that are better than Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse to bump it out of a Best Picture nomination. I will declare that this is the greatest year of movies ever in history. If Across the Spider-Verse, as good as it is, doesn't even register in the top 10, <laughs> then this will be the greatest film or the greatest year ever in, in cinematic history. But I do believe this film will get that nomination. But listen, it does have some obstacles to come overcome. It's got the fact that the Oscars generally don't like to nominate the medium. I don't know. We want to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. From the gas pump to the grocery store, your utility bills and favorite streaming services, inflation is everywhere. Seriously, make it stop. Thankfully, there's one company out there that's giving you a much needed break. It's Mint Mobile. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just $15 a month. You guys know that ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've been saving almost 70% a month over my old phone plan. For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All of their plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Have you had a chance to see Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse yet? If so, are you one of those 96% of the people that really enjoyed it? Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you haven't had a chance to get out to see it yet because the theaters have been rather crowded. Do you think animated films should even be considered for Best Picture? Or should they just be happy in their own little subcategory for Best Animated? Whatever you guys think about it, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. Listen, if you like our content, make sure you check out our daily podcast, the John Campia Show podcast, available on Apple, Spotify, and your favorite podcasting app of choice.